This is part 28 of the Minish Cap, and in this part, right off the bat here, we're going to be getting the flippers, which will allow us to eventually enter the fourth dungeon of the game. Uh -huh. And in this game, like the flippers, it really didn't feel like it opened up as much as it did in past games. Like I remember, like in Link to the Past, oh, goodness. we got the flippers. It felt like we could go everywhere. And this, I didn't really get that same feeling from this game, but it's still a great item in it's, this game. It's great to get. It, it doesn't open up a lot of the world, like you said, but it does uh -huh. let us get uh, a lot of like the heart pieces. Yo, yeah, oh, definitely, that definitely. That we're going to be getting here in the next uh, part or two. Uh huh. We'll be getting a lot of them. Yeah, actually. yeah, yeah. Exactly, <laughs> like, like, exactly like you said. Like, there's a lot of places. I mean, it doesn't really open up, but yeah. I mean, yeah. Exactly what you said. It gives <laughs> a lot of hard pieces. So, <laughs> and I still love. I know we've done this so many times about that game. Using that gust jar to grab those mushrooms and yank Link across uh -huh. the pits. I still think that was such a fun idea. It was. It was. And like, kind of, we haven't used it really in a long time. Not for a while. Up to that point. So, I mean, it was just one of those things like you know we always talk about when they bring back the little details we always yeah. like. So. Now, something we didn't so much like, I know you mentioned you weren't a big fan of these Beatles. No, here. no, no, those are, no, these are not the Beatles. Um, the Beatles oh. are the smaller, uh, oh, slime oh. things. I forgot what these are called, man. These are scissor Beatles, that's what I thought you were scissor talking Beatles. about. Scissor Beatles, I think, um... Is that actually what they're called? I believe so. Okay, that's, that's how I wrote down. <laughs> well, we prepared pretty good. So, oh, you actually okay? Scissor. Yeah, please. sounds good to me. But I was, I was a little surprised because that's what I thought you were talking about earlier when you said uh, you weren't a big fan of them. I thought you destroyed them pretty. Uh, pretty no, I was talking there. about the uh, other beetles in the K that like they jump on you mm. and they slow you down. I hate those. Oh things. yeah. Now one weird thing, like look at these symbols. Like in that's actually a wave. Do it you see like that? It, yeah, yeah, it looks like a wave. So I mean, just. I really don't remember seeing those. We had the triangles. We definitely had like, the triangles. on the wall, like Fortress of Winds, but just like those symbols right there on the floor. I mean, I don't know exactly what they're there for, but yeah, kind of cool. And it's appropriate because that's where you get the flippers. I mean, so yeah, flippers uh -huh. and waves and all that stuff kind of goes. Yeah, but why is like a wave symbol down there? You know, in the bottom of a I don't know. Cave. Yeah. Maybe the the fountain right there used to be a little more wavier. Maybe maybe they couldn't contain like the water pressure. And it just made it crazy down there. Well, maybe to uh, maybe to a minute, shit is pretty wavy. That is true. Okay, that that's, could, that's, that's a good point. <laughs> now, here's one thing I don't understand. Okay, we get the uh, flippers as a minish. So how in the heck do we wear those things like when we're big? Because we can wear them. It's like we can swim anywhere as we're big. So that makes absolutely no sense. It doesn't. It doesn't. Well, we get a lot of items. I feel like when we're small, though, in, in uh, like the dungeons. But yeah, well, well no, well, we, no, we don't. Because we're we're minish size in the first dungeon of the game. Uh, yeah, we had Deep Witch Shrine, and we get the Gush... Okay, that's... Yeah, Gush okay. would be the size yeah, of the that, that, or that, That's a good point. That's a good point. <laughs> I was sitting there, I was like, we don't get any items other than that one, but yeah, the, the Gush Jar is yeah. a good one. But it, it doesn't make a ton of sense. Well, I mean, no. have all of Link's clothes shrink and grow. Well, it's just weird because yeah. everything in every Zelda game has always made sense. I know. So it's just physics. shocking that right here <laughs> that it doesn't make sense. So, and what we're doing right here is we're actually, uh, we're starting to Kukko game. Um, there's like 10, I don't know, know exactly, but I think there's 10 rounds. I think it is 10 rounds. And yeah. all you get is a hard piece from it. Um, we end up doing the whole thing, but we don't finish it until a lot later on in the game. Yeah, I think we do the first three, three. or four rounds. We do the here. first three right here, uh huh. And then I remember, like, because you actually can't do the uh, last one until you get the. Uh, oh wait, we had the flippers. Forget it. We do have the flippers now. Yeah. So I actually think I actually think you can complete it right now, but you probably could. It's just something. It's. I mean, we had to sit down one night and yeah. work on it for like two hours. So it's just. It's something that's very tough. Um, you can do it all right here if you want to, but we, we don't. Just, we just <laughs> did it because it's very hard. It's at the end of the day, the prize is just a piece of art, uh -huh. which, which for a walkthrough like we're doing, we want to get them all. Yeah. Um, and we do. We, and do, we, get, do. we do get the end of the game. And so. we do. But uh, along the way, though, you do kind of load up on rupees because I think every one of the gold coupons uh -huh. you get is worth like 50 rupees yeah, or uh -huh. something. So, since we just spent a ton of rupees on the bomb bag, mm -hmm. um, we'll actually play this game a few times and get really close to being able to purchase yeah, the, quiver. the quiver as well. Uh -huh. So, there is a side benefit uh, to doing this as well as the heart piece. Yeah, and you'll see, like, or you'll, you did see, like, right before, like, I kind of started this, I removed my sword. It's just a good idea because when you use those Pegasus boots, Oh. Like, if you hit your, like, a cuckoo with the sword, I mean, it goes flying, so yeah. it's just a good idea to unequip your sword. It just makes it a lot easier. And what we ended up having to do to finally beat this stupid thing was, uh, we, we may have drawn some maps and stuff. Yeah, you, you really <laughs> had to, but I mean, like I said, like, it's a good idea kind of like to, uh, maybe get some, like, pointers from other websites. Yeah, yeah you can also do try and, trial and error. Yeah. yeah try every stage, you'll eventually learn where all the cuckoos are at. It's but we, so hard, though. We literally draw out a map. Yeah. You'll see it. Well, we finish it a lot later, later, much later, later in the game because <laughs> we basically just said, "Yeah, screw this. Yeah, we're not doing it." But you can do this right now if you want to. I think we wait to finish this till almost right before near near the very end of the game. If yeah, I'm not mistaken, I said later, later, later. later. <laughs> I wasn't joking around. <laughs> definitely not. Definitely not. And you 
the go like the go ones you actually have to throw them because if you don't, they'll like pop back out of your hands and like go back to where they were. So yeah, the white kukos like you just can carry, but the go ones you gotta throw in. Like when you throw them, they will go kind of towards uh, the whichever, whichever direction, direction you throw them, which is very handy. It, it definitely, definitely is because those things are kind of tough and yeah, they don't stay in your hands very long either. No, it's they don't. A couple of seconds no, they don't. They like I said, out. when you throw them, they run forward. So I mean that does help you out a little yeah. bit. As now, long as you don't throw them backwards. Yeah. The other reward that we've kind of been getting for these are the mysterious shells, um, which you haven't seen us use at all, I don't think yet. No. But uh -uh. They're, they're handy for another very long and tedious mini game. I get confused because <laughs> I cut so many parts ahead that yeah. I'm like, I think I just did something. I'm like, oh no, we're all the way back here. We actually have an E8 yeah. to Temple of Droplets. No, no, we have not. But we'll be there before too long. Uh, uh, we got about <laughs> six more parts to get there, so I'm not sure, but I think it's around six parts. I always like this little screenshot right here. I saw it. I love seeing like the castle, the corner of the castle, oh, yeah, right uh -huh. there, and it's just Hyrule Castle, which and, you can see on the map yeah, here. Uh -huh. But I thought it was a neat little. And I think there's some like rupees, like like you see all those rocks. I think you can swim in between those rocks and get some rupees. Um, I didn't get them in our walkthrough because I uh, was like nine 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 for yeah. like the whole last quarter of the game, so I didn't get them. But there are some rupees around those areas that you can swim to and get. Yeah, and honestly, the biggest use for the rupees that we'll have, obviously when we bought the boomerang earlier, uh -huh. and the two upgrades that we bought, yeah. um, were the biggest usage of the rupees, and once you have those, uh -huh. and, and we'll end up with both of those here by the yeah, end of this Yeah, by this part. video, yeah. Uh -huh. um, There's really nothing else expensive in the game. No, no, the only thing I can think of is if you need to buy kinstone pieces. No, yeah, but if you like, you know, go around exploring enough, you should yeah. have enough kinstone pieces, and shouldn't have to worry about buying any. Exactly. Speaking of which, I think we're about to get three right in this case. <laughs> yeah, I think so. We uh, we get quite a bit in the next couple parts, I think, really. Oh, we load up on the red and blue ones, I think. Yeah, because we start going through these caves, and then, like, uh, the flippers allow us to get some other places yeah. that we've not been to, so... Not, not not a ton of them, unfortunately, like, uh -huh. like we said, but... but like I said, it was crazy. Oh, was like, there's, the, there's the Beatles. Yeah, talking there's the about. Beatles. Talking about. It was crazy. Like, in this game, I had such a hard time. I actually did buy a couple green uh, kid stones because yeah. they're like 50 rupees or whatever. Yeah. So, but other than that, I didn't really have a hard time. You're having kids, you're grabbing kids, don't pieces. Exactly, like I said, as long as you do the exploration, you get to some of these cave areas, uh -huh. you, you know, you go through the dungeons pretty thoroughly, uh -huh. you're gonna find just about everyone you need. You might be a little short early in the game mm -hmm. when you don't have all the different types or all the different shapes, yeah, but uh, it, it definitely you end up with quite an inventory. Of and, them. and going on that, I actually did want to say something. I think oh, back yeah. in part 26, we said that we were going to do everything in the game, yeah, or we actually don't do all the fusions. There's a hundred fusions in this game, yeah, and one. One of the reasons I didn't do them because I didn't want to. Yeah. Because there's so many of them. That there's there's hundred of them. They're, yeah. just, they're just worthless. But the other thing was I didn't think you got anything from them. Yeah. And you actually get Tingle Trophy, so that's the only thing we won't be doing in this game. You won't see us get a Tingle Trophy. Yeah. So, so. sorry for the false advertising. Yeah. One hundred percent. Yeah. It's, it, I guess it's ninety nine percent. But hey, we told you what we're missing. So. Yeah. Yeah. And it doesn't. It doesn't. It's just not worth it, man. Because I mean. It's I don't know exactly how many fusions I had done because it doesn't tell you. I know there's no counter. I mean, what but, do you forget one? Like I, I just like I didn't need anything, and I know there's yeah. a lot. I know I didn't do over fifty of them, and then no. I didn't need anything else. So it's just there's a lot of them that just aren't necessary. No. Another thing, like the two upgrades that we buy in here. Goodness gracious, you hold a lot of junk with the two of these things. Oh yeah, 100 bombs and 100 arrows, I think both these upgrades Seems give us a bit right excessive, here. But either way, uh, this wraps up part 28 of our Minish Cap walkthrough. 